We're back. Changing construction experiences. This is Renovate and Build with Jim and Sandra. Morning. Hope you're enjoying your day. Good morning. And Sandra and I are here on CL650 and 10, until 10 o'clock this morning. And we're talking about construction. And this show's focus is all about great client care. Sandra, um, not sure if you saw a few weeks ago back, uh, but Lux Insights was in the city speaking to the Retail Council of Canada's and Western Conference, and Claire's booth was talking about what consumers are wanting in the future. She said that in 2013, two-thirds of consumers switched brands or businesses due to poor client care and customer service. When interviewed, um, they say that consumers didn't want to switch and the companies could have done something but to keep them, but they simply didn't. I was trying to think myself how many brands I would have switched last year because of that. I think it's true. I think it's very true that um, when I don't want to switch, but yet they give me no alternative because they didn't do anything to keep me. So you have a problem, you call, and they just kind of go, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I think but they don't try to offer me a solution to I try to keep me. Yeah, I think consumers, like you said, consumers are willing to be loyal and stay there, but they just they kind of get shut down so that it drives them to... To, to, to switch brands. Well, it's a lot of work to switch because you're usually happy. That's why you chose that brand in the first place. They obviously had a product or a service that you were happy with. And then to have to go and look for something new that, that solves or meets your needs is, uh, you know, once again, more work on the consumer's behalf. So yeah. they don't want to. I think it's quite easy for them to be able to keep a consumer and just admit to a mistake, and this is what we can do for you to rectify. And usually, as soon as they admit it, you're going, okay, that's fine. Yeah, in this marketplace, I think consumers just want all their troubles taken away and their, and their brands to take care of them, right? So oh, they're busy enough. Absolutely. I always say I already have a job. I just want somebody to take care of the problem after a long day. And I don't also want to become an expert in no. that field. Like I said, when I do car repair, I don't want to have to be the expert to try to figure out what they're doing and explain it to, you know, um, explain it to them. So if they are just concierge style, I'm happy to yeah, take away my problem. Exactly right. Though. I think consumers just, and I think that's the message right now, you know, we have all this technology, uh, you know, it, it, for, con for ease and convenience, but where's that client care gone? Where's that customer service gone? I believe um, that's why we started Fairtrade Works in the construction industry, because consumers just want that human touch and, and that, like you said, that concierge service to guide them through any particular choice or purchase they're making. Um, you know, they want solutions and want to deal with the problem solvers to act on their behalf, not trying to sell something or ram something down their throat. They're looking for people that kind of really listen to their wants and needs and help them, again, help them, guide them to make educated decisions uh, when they, and they want to deal with a real expert. Um, and they say that companies will have to start hiring for personality and not skill in the future as they can't change personality. Um, they need <laughs> that true? <laughs> it's true, but it's so true. You know, th and they need staff who are patient, courteous, kind, and genuinely want to help, not just, um, you know, not just one factor to their skill set. They want somebody that can really, you know, woo these people and just feel as if they are their advocate through what, whichever process they're kind of embarking on. So. And that you actually enjoy your job. Exactly. <laughs> that would be nice. It's such a key, isn't it? Yeah. And you're there to help, right? I think it's just being there to help, and I think that's a, that just goes a hu that's a huge step in getting consumers to buy into brands, right? So. Well, and I think especially with Fair Trade Works, when we say that our goal is to be your construction brand for life, it shows the effort that it's not just that one repair or renovation or even one home build. It's something that you can refer through your family um, for years to come and be able to trust that brand. So it's something that we really have to strive and, and to maintain trust and confidence in the brand. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just, I think it's just kind of creating, I don't know what you want to call it, like a life team almost. I have my team, with it, I, have the, I have my guy that looks after my vehicles, I have the guy, that the, 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 not the team that cleans my house, whatever, you name it. It's just having that trusted, it's not just about your family or friends, it's just people need uh, these team, these kind of whatever you want to call them, entourages or whatever. Mm -hmm. To, to do whatever, so you know, just life services that, you know, maintain your home, build your new home, renovate, um, you know, do your dry clean, you name it. You, people just have these services, and I think having a construction brand that you can trust for the rest of your life, I think is huge. And having that concierge-style service um, where consumers can keep coming back and back again to the same company who's, who's heavily resourced, um, I think is certainly the way that the marketplace is shifting and that's what we do at fair trade works though um you know and your home is often your largest purchase of your lifetime so at fair trade works we believe that you need a third party advocate someone who knows the construction industry the right people fair pricing and then watches your back throughout the entire process it's time for the product face-off and the fair trade works shopping professional professionals are giggling in the studio with us now for their review of products they feel are worthy of your purchase. Good morning, Megan Gary. Good, Good morning, morning Sandra. Good morning, Megan Gary. 
<laughs> we have to tell a little story here. Jim's not feeling well this morning, so he's snuffleupagus over here on the yeah, side chair with us. And so everybody is trying to hold their breath and <laughs> lean to the side. <laughs> We're trying not to breathe, Jim. Yeah. We'll, make th- we'll keep this brief. We're all stuck in this little, little, <laughs> little studio together. So. so we're featuring smart ovens this morning. We're yes, anxious we to are. hear this. Yes, we are. Yeah, mm-hmm. Just like any other appliances or gadgets that we've uh, introduced uh, to you in the past. Again, smart oven. How smart can they be? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. I, I think I've lived in my condominium for, uh, I don't know, two years now or something. I, I've never even... Turned on the... I don't even t- know where the <laughs> oven is. Uh, it's in the bathroom, isn't it? <laughs> It <laughs> stores his extra dishes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's storage, and that's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about them, Gary. What do you have? Okay, I have the uh, the Decor. It spells D-A-C-O-R, Decor Smart Oven. It's a complete range, actually, and it has two options. It either comes in a single oven or with a double oven, uh, the, the standard 30-inch size. Okay. Um, so imagine yourself cooking a turkey for the holidays, let's say, and by simply inputting the bird's weight into your oven, it will calculate the temperature and time needed to cook for, cook just cook it for you wow yeah so you don't have to figure this out anymore and you know look at the label on the bird and no. all of that stuff it's no. going to figure it out you for don't you. need experience you don't need the calculations i like it yeah <laughs> it has convenient cooking mode for most of your gourmet recipes too so yeah. you could say i'm doing bread or muffins yep and it will yep. figure out the time and and just hang on there's more smart features to it <laughs> 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 it also comes in a uh, with a seven inch lcd screen just like a tablet or you can also control it with your smartphone. So the beauty of this is, let's say if you're a soccer mom, um, getting out from the, the car in the garage and you can already use your smartphone, preheat the oven. It's as simple as that. How is that? It's very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only only downside is um, it has a safety feature. Let's say if the husband's already cooking a noodle on the stove <laughs> and then your your smartphone won't override it cause, because of the, the heat factor and, and, and the safety. Okay. Yeah, but it's also a good thing. So you don't pocket dial your, your, your oven by mistake <laughs> and it cause a fire at home. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. scary, Gary. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to make it sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> you can also use that app to uh, preset your upper or lower uh, oven temperature. So you can be baking a, a pizza, the upper one, and you can be, you know, just heating up some some. That's other very dishes. handy, the That's two ovens. That's very, yes. very handy. Yeah. I, would, I would definitely go for the... Um, the double oven mm-hmm. option. Um, let's let's hear what Max has to, to introduce to us. Mm-hmm. So today I'm talking about the LG Smart Think range. This is the biggest that you can find right now in in the market. It's 6.3 cubic feet. So you can be roasting a chicken and cooking four casseroles all together. Wow! In the same oven. Wait a second. <laughs> 6.3 cubic feet. Yes. So a regular microwave. It's like what quarter of this size. You would know, Gary. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's this is huge. That's this is big, huge. That's a good size. This mm-hmm. is this is huge. It's huge, and it will reduce your cooking time by twenty percent, because unlike your 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 oven, Gary, yeah, my oven. you don't need preheating for this option. You know, because it raises so? the temperature setting straight to broil, and so you know you don't need to preheat. Well, that's a cheating program. Well, right? <laughs> uh, now I know how how to make it too. <laughs> Use broil right away. Yeah. Um, this uses the infrared grill heating, the same kind of technology okay. that's used in outdoor grills, and so yeah, that's infrared why infrared is instantly yeah. mm-hmm. instant yeah, right there. That's good. Um, and you can monitor the progress of what you're cooking through the LG Smart Access Range app on your phone or your tablet. And so you don't need to keep going back to the kitchen, opening the oven and checking on your checking on your dishes because like sometimes that's not efficient. You know, as you open the oven, you, you let heat, heat out. Yeah. Right. right. And that's not good. Um, uh, at a quick glance on your phone, you just know that the cooking functions are off and your food is done. So you could be mingling with your friends as you're having a dinner party and forget about the oven. But That's both awesome. of these ovens have um, uh, have one downside. They don't they don't take the food from the fridge and, and put it <laughs> no, in the oven they, for you. <laughs> no, we're not there yet. We're not, we're there, not there yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you still have to do all the seasoning and, you know, putting all one the day, food one together. Day, one day it'll know. happen on yep. its own. <laughs> The con for this, or the consideration you have, um, we have 
for the LG Smart Think range is that the smart app still needs to be more user friendly and I I just think that because we're in the early stages of smart home technology it can only get better. Oh, of yeah. Course. Yeah. Yeah, for well, sure. So Meg yours needs a lot more space. We do agree that it, you, it's not for the small apartments. No. Seven. No. Okay. No. What are we looking at for price? Okay, I think mine will be costing Pricier. a little more. Yeah. yeah. It's $5,000 for the single oven option. And it's eight thousand dollars for the double oven option. Okay, we're in the high yeah. end. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so mine is twenty four hundred for the single oven and thirty eight hundred for the double oven. And Pretty both good price. products can be bought from Trail, Trail appliances. appliances. Wow. Yep, fifty four hundred Minaru Boulevard. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So thank you, Megan Gary. If you want to know more about purchasing today's featured smart ovens, you can visit our Facebook page and see Gary and Meg's entire extended product information. Our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash renovate and build. That's renovate A-N-D build. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you Monday. Get well soon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's still lots more ahead. This is Renovate and Build, powered by Fairtrade Works, with Jim and Sandra.